many of us have a GMRS license. And many people have a ham radio or amateur license. Many people have GMRS radios. And many people have ham radios. However, it has come to my attention that many people do not understand the differences and limitations of these two very different types of radios and their associated permission slips. So in this video, we, and by we, I mean you and I, we will discuss the differences between a GMRS license and a ham radio or amateur license. And even though this discussion is between you and I, I will be doing most of the talking, so sit down and shut up. First of all, before I even get started, allow me to take a moment to point out that contrary to many lies and fairy tales smeared all over the interweb by some people, and I cannot emphasize this enough, I have never, ever stated, mentioned, alluded to, or insinuated that anyone can or should transmit on ham radio channels without a permission slip, also known as a ham radio license, from our overlords at the FCCs during peacetime or non-emergency situations. Nor have I ever made mention of a GMRS license allowing one to transmit on the ham radio channels, again, during peacetime or non-emergency situations. So allow me to just take a moment and clear that part up right now. If you saw the thumbnail for this video and came here to find out if you can use your GMRS license to talk on ham radio channels, then please start paying attention now. A ham radio license, also known as an amateur radio license or government permission slip, allows one to broadcast on Pacific designated ham radio channels. A GMRS permission slip allows one to broadcast on the GMRS Pacific channels whilst using only a GMRS radio. And if someone was to broadcast using a ham radio on ham radio channels, under the authority of a GMRS license, which gives you no authority to broadcast on ham radio channels, this action would not align with the FCC's rules and would result in our overlords at the FCC's becoming very, very sad. Likewise, broadcasting on GMRS channels under the color of authority of a ham radio license would also run afoul of our overlords at the FCC's. What I am saying is a ham radio license only lets you broadcast on ham radio channels and a GMRS license only lets you broadcast on GMRS channels whilst using only a GMRS radio. Now allow me to briefly elaborate on the differences between these two types of broadcast radio licenses. To get a ham radio license, one must take a government-sanctioned test consisting of 35 multiple-choice questions. Whereas to obtain a GMRS license, one must only figure out how to fill out the forms and enter your credit card information on the dumpster fire that is the FCC's website. There is also a lesser-known type of license known as the LMR license often referred to as an FCC's business license, which I also possess, which makes me better than all of those ham radio operators. This type of license allows one to transmit on Pacific channels that are neither ham nor GMRS channels using a Pacific type of radio known as an LMR radio, such as this, Motorola XTS 5000. But for the purposes of this discussion, we remember you and I, we will focus specifically on the ham and GMRS types of permission slips. In these United States, you do not need any kind of permission slip or license from the FCCs to purchase, own, or possess a ham or GMRS radio. And as mentioned only moments ago, if you have a GMRS license, this does not mean that the FCCs will allow you to broadcast on ham radio channels. And it is indeed a fact that if you have a GMRS radio, it will not even allow you to accidentally transmit on ham radio channels because real GMRS radios are locked 
to transmit only on GMRS channels. That is why it says GMRS right on the box when you buy it. Stay with me now. And versa visa, most ham radios will not allow you to accidentally broadcast on GMRS channels. And even if you did, the FCC says that your ham radio license does not give you permission to transmit on those GMRS channels. In other words, contrary to popular belief by some people, a ham radio license does not make you a god of the radio waves. However, if you unlock your radio, meaning that it can transmit on ham and GMRS channels, and if you did not have a ham license or a GMRS license, and if you transmitted on ham or GMRS channels, the FCCs would not care based on their current record of enforcing their own rules, which they basically never do. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention this, the most important thing to remember, basically the entire point of this whole video is 